Hi, uh, welcome back to Mama Sanity, long time no see. I know it's been an extremely long time since I've posted a video. It seems like eternity for me. Um, I've been really, really busy lately, but um, it's a new year, a new decade. Happy 2020, happy new year. And so I wanted to do this video um, and share with you about God's timing and trusting in God's timing. And I know I've touched base with y'all a million times on this, um, but going into a new year, um, it's also a reminder for me, and I feel like it's very important because everybody has like goals and resolutions and achievements, and you have like this whole year that you're looking at, and you want to do certain things at a certain time and accomplish things at a certain time, and that is awesome, and I do encourage that. Um, I encourage goal setting and um, things like that. Um, but on the flip side of that, um, I do know there are things that I've been praying for on a daily basis for several, several years, and they haven't yet come about. And that can be a little um, frustrating and discouraging. And there are times when I get down and I'm just like, oh, is this ever going to happen? But that is when I really need this. Um, and and to remind myself, it's all in God's timing. God is never late. He His timing is always perfect. And the reason being is, is we as humans, we see the here and now. Like we have this focus and we try and see the big picture, but we're not fortune tellers. We can't see the big picture. And, and so God can. And God sees everything from birth to our death. And so he knows everything in between. And so maybe we're not prepared and we're not ready. And he's trying to get us prepared and get us ready for what we're um, hoping for and wanting. Or maybe it's not his will. He has something better in mind. And what we're thinking is so minute and small compared to what he wants to give us. And so my whole thing is is to trust in his timing and to not get discouraged and not get frustrated. And I know that's very hard because, like I said, I do it all the time. Um, there's tons of times where I'm like, you know, people are telling me, Brandy, that's not going to happen. Just give up. You know, you've been trying for years. You've been doing this for you. Like, it's, it's just never going to happen. And that's when I say, nope, I'm trusting that it will happen. And I'm trusting in God's timing. So apparently God's timing is just not yet. And so I'm just going to try and be patient. And I'm everything that comes at me, I just say, I don't, I don't know why this is happening. I don't understand why this is happening. But I'm putting everything in your hands. And I told um, New Year's Eve, I told God, I'm putting everything in your hands. My family, my health, my spirit spirituality, my finances, just everything. Like I give it all to you um, because I've got so much going on that I just, I feel like I just, it stacks up and I just can't take it anymore. So I give everything to him and he will do with it as he sees. And he'll tell me what I need to do and I will do what he tells me to do and we'll work through it together. So let's get started. The longer you wait, the bigger the reward trust life's timing and God's timing trust requires that you place your time in God's hands believing that his timing is perfect for all things in your life your human nature wants good things to happen in your life now not later but as you mature in the Christian life you learn to believe for things not now but in God's perfect timing Trusting God often means not knowing how God is going to accomplish something and not knowing when he will do it. But not knowing how and when stretches your faith and teaches you lessons in trust. Remember, trust is not inherited, it is learned. Timing plays an important part in learning to trust God. As you experience his faithfulness over and over, you will give up trusting yourself and placing your life in his capable hands. What a wonderful place to be. Again, I just want to end with do not get discouraged. Put your trust in him and trust his timing. And that is the whole thing of faith. You know, it's not knowing when, not seeing what, 
not knowing how, but knowing that it will happen. So I hope that y'all have a wonderful new year, and until next time, I hope y'all stay safe.